Astronomers have identified 44 individual stars in a galaxy about 6.5 billion light-years away from Earth, dating back to when the universe was about half its current age. This achievement surpasses previous observations, where the Hubble Space Telescope had detected only seven individual stars at similar cosmic distances. The new discovery is like trying to spot a grain of sand on the moon with just a pair of binoculars. If you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you longer to reach these stars than it took Earth to go from its first single-celled organisms to today's complex life. But how did Webb manage to see these impossibly distant stars? Well, that's where Einstein's physics and a cosmic magnifying glass come into play. Webb got some help from what astronomers call a gravitational lensing. Between us and these distant stars sits a massive cluster of galaxies called a Bell 370. This cluster is so heavy that it actually bends space itself, creating a natural magnifying glass in space. While this may sound like something out of science fiction, Einstein predicted this effect over a century ago in his theory of general relativity. Imagine placing a heavy bowling ball on a stretched rubber sheet. The sheet would bend around the ball, right? Now imagine light trying to travel across that sheet. It would have to follow the curve. That's exactly what's happening in space. The Abel 370 cluster is so massive that it bends light from anything behind it, creating what astronomers nicknamed the Dragon Arc. This cosmic lens magnified the light from these distant stars hundreds or even thousands of times. Without this natural magnification, even Webb, with all its power, couldn't have seen these stars. When astronomers analyzed these distant stars, they found something unexpected. Most of them are red supergiants, massive stars in their final stages of life. If you've ever looked at the constellation Orion, you've seen a red supergiant, Betelgeuse, that distinctive reddish star at Orion's shoulder. This discovery surprised astronomers because previous observations of distant galaxies mainly showed blue supergiants, which are among the brightest stars in the universe. These red supergiants are cosmic giants. If you placed one where our sun is, it would reach the orbit of Jupiter. They're also telling us something crucial about star formation in the early universe. Their presence suggests that galaxies were already mature enough to host these evolved stars when the universe was just half its current age. This discovery wouldn't have been possible without Webb's unique capabilities. Unlike Hubble, which mainly sees visible light, Webb sees an infrared, which is basically heat radiation. This is crucial because red supergiants shine brightest in infrared light, and the universe's expansion stretches ancient starlight into infrared wavelengths. So, Webb Telescope is like giving astronomers infrared goggles to see things that were always there, but invisible to our other instruments. It's the difference between trying to spot a campfire at night using regular binoculars versus using heat-sensing equipment. But this discovery is more than just finding distant stars. It's opening up an entirely new way to study dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of all matter in the universe. We can't see dark matter directly, but we can detect its gravitational effects, and these distant stars act like cosmic probes. Think of it like trying to map an invisible maze. You can't see the walls, but by watching how objects move through it, you can figure out where the barriers are. These stars help us understand how dark matter is distributed in and around distant galaxies. The astronomers who made this discovery weren't even looking for individual stars. They were studying the background galaxy. And now that they know what's possible, they're planning more observations of the Dragon Arc and other distant galaxies. Webb has shown us that we can do something many astronomers thought impossible. Study individual stars from a time when the universe was half its current age. Each new discovery pushes our understanding further, and we're just getting started. If you found this story fascinating, hit subscribe for more space discoveries, and tell us in the comments 
What web discovery would you like to learn about next? The possibilities are as endless as the universe itself.